paano i-solve ito? Yan ang pag-usapan natin today. This video is made possible by the Team Laika online review program. More about that later. Hi there and welcome to Team Laika where we try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And if you're taking a test or you're just someone who loves learning like I do, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon para hindi nyo ma-miss yung mga paparating pa lang nating mga lessons. This one in particular, yung tungkol sa fraction tas may percentage. It's something na laging lumalabas sa mga aptitude tests. Even if it's not something you may encounter on a daily basis out there in the real world, pagdating sa exams, Tinatanong ito kasi it's meant to measure your problem-solving skills, your discarte, your fundamentals then when it comes to dealing with decimals, fractions, percentages, at yung basic operations. Now, I'm going to show you three ways to solve the same problem and we're going to do that right now. Let's start with something na very straightforward, one-fifth percent. Now, ang gagawin natin dito is to turn this entire thing into a decimal. And ang importanteng tandaan ay iba yung one-fifth doon sa pagiging percent pa niya. What do I mean by that? In order to solve this, we're going to start with yung one-fifth. Now, yung one-fifth, para maging decimal siya, ang ginagawa natin ay yung numerator o number na nasa taas, which is one, ay i-divide natin by the number na nasa ilalim, which in this case ay five, yung denominator. So we can put five right there. Meron din tayong video nito on converting fractions to decimals. If you haven't seen that yet, ililink ko na lang din, okay? Para mapanood nyo yun. Now, after you have this, you can go through a number of steps na. Long division na tayo. 1 divided by 5, hindi kasha. So, we'll put 0 there. And a decimal point right there. Which means, kaya ko na magdagdag ng mga 0 dito sa right side niya. 10 divided by 5 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. Tapos, pag sinubtract ko sila, wala lang matitira. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang one-fifth ay 0.2. Common mistake na yung iba, ang sagot na nila ay 0.2. Mali po yun. Kasi meron ka pang percent sign right there. So, what we're looking for is not 0.2, but 0.2%. Again, it doesn't make much sense kapag nasa real world, pero pagdating sa exams, ang ibig sabihin lang yan ay yung 0.2, kailangan pa nating i-move yung decimal point twice to the left. 1, 2, at magiging 0.002 siya. Kung naguluhan dito, meron na tayong video on turning decimals into fractions, fractions to decimals. I-link ko na rin sa inyo yung full video lesson so you can really master that. May quick quiz din sa loob. Okay? Basta, tandaan, first step is yung fraction, second step yung decimal. Sure ka na ang sagot ay 0.002. Now that we know that, we can turn to a more complicated problem. Paano kung one-fifth percent of 410? Now, gamit yung steps na ginawa natin kanina, alam natin na ang one-fifth percent is 0.002. Ang of pagdating sa math ay times or multiplication. So, yung 0.002 ay multiply natin doon sa given na 410. Now, of course, you can go ahead and solve this. But, let me show you how I would do it kung ako yung mag -e exam Okay? Ang ginagawa ko is just to remember na yung 1 fifth at percent ay pwede kong i-treat separately. Kung baga, may commutative property naman ng multiplication. At ang one-fifth percent is basically one-fifth times 0 0.01 or divided by 100. So, ang gagawin ko lang is kukunin ko muna yung ano ba ang one-fifth of 410. This part is rather easy kasi pwede ko siyang gamitan ng multiplication. In that case, I would just go 410 over 5. Kasi nga, ang of is times. So, it's one-fifth times 410 over 1. After this, pwede ko na siyang i-divide. This will give me 82, which is one-fifth of 410. Another option is to use ratio notation. So, I could go one-fifth is equal to blank or x over 410. Kasi inahanap mo kung ano yung one-fifth na 410. And as you can see, if you do ratio rotation, it's the same thing. 
410 divided by 5, which is going to give you 82 times 1. Again, pareho naman na 82 ang lalabas. Kasi nga, 82 is 1 fifth of 410. But remember, hindi 1 fifth of 410 ang hinahanap, kundi 1 fifth percent of 410. Which means, itong 82 na ito, gagawin ko pa siyang decimal. Kasi 82% yan. And in order for me to do that, yung 82, kung saan nandito ang decimal point, imove ko siya 1, 2, 2 times. The answer is 0 0.82. Hindi 82. Now, yun ba ang lalabas kung multiply ko lang ito? Let's see. 410 times 0 0.002. Dahil meron siyang extra 0, pwede kong i-cancel ito. Tapos imumove ko yung decimal point one time to the right. So, now you have 41 times 0 0.02. 41 times 2 is just 82. Tapos, meron akong dalawang decimal points. 1, 2. Para maging whole number yung point zero two which means I will still move the decimal place 1, 2, 2 steps to get to 0 0.82. Pareho naman siya dun sa una nating mga naging sagot. So whether you convert yung fraction na percent into decimals, multiply mo siya sa whole number, or you deal with the whole number and the fraction first before dealing with the percentage sign, nasa sa inyo na yan kung saan kayo mas mabilis. Let's just take a few moments to talk about the online review program. Now, in case niyo alam, the reason why I'm able to make all of these free videos that you see online ay dahil sa mga people who support us by buying the books, buying the reviewers, and joining the online or live review events. And the online review program, which has been available since 2017, is a program that has helped so many people pass the civil service exam. It's a 10-week program na fully online, which starts with the pretests that acts as a mock exam, and then followed siya quickly by 10 weeks with pretests, post-tests, and sa totoo lang, hindi ko na alam kung gano'ng karaming online learning experiences where you watch videos, including exclusive video lessons na hindi nakapublic, where I teach some of my secret techniques sa pagsasolve ng mga math problems without having to do algebra. Now, if you're taking an aptitude exam soon and if you're interested, you can go ahead and message us at Team Like a Facebook page to find out more about the online review program, kung makakasama ka sa susunod na batch, and if it's the perfect fit for you. Again, marami salamat sa Team Like and sumasali sa online review program. Bumibili na ating books, na ating merch, kasi hindi ko magagawa itong mga libreng video lessons without you. Now back to the video. Another thing that could help you when it comes to dealing with fractions in general or dito sa mga ganitong klaseng tanong is just to remember some common fractions. Here we have one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, and one eighth. Kapag merong ibang numerator with the same denominator, pwede nyo namang i-multiply na lang yun. Ano ibig sabihin ko dyan? Kung ang one half ang binigay, alam natin ang one half ay kalahate, madali nang isipin this is just zero point. 5. Ano naman ang one-third? Ang one-third, kung every time makikita mo siya, e divide mo pa yung 1 sa 3, it will really cost you some time. Pero kung tatandaan na lang natin na ang 1 over 3 is actually 0 0.3, and this is a repeating number, ibig sabihin 0 0.3333333 siya, kahit sa calculator, madali mo na siyang ma-recognize. Kung 2 over 3 naman ang inahanap, edi mo multiply ko lang to sa 2. So, that will give me 0 0.66666 na tuloy-tuloy. Ang 1 fourth naman ay kalahati ng kalahati. So, kung ang kalahati ay 0 0.5, ang kalahati nun ay 0 0.25. 0 0.5 divided by 2 is 0 0.25. Or kung isosolve mo using 1 divided by 4, pareho rin naman ang lalabas. 1 fourth is 0 0.25. 1 fifth, nasolve natin kanina, pero madali ding tandaan is 0 0.25. 2 or 20%. Ang 1 over 6 is 0 0.16666666666. Then, bakit? Kasi pag dinivide ko yung 0.33333 by 2, dahil ang 1 sixth ay kalahati ng 1 third, ito yung lalabas. At kung 2 decimal places lang ang inahanap ng tanong, pwede natin siyang i-round off into 0 0.17. Ang 1 eighth ay kalahati ng 1 fourth. So, kung ang 1 fourth ay 
0.25, this is going to be 0.125. Again, lalo na kung magbilis naman kayo mag-memorize, eh, minsan mas magandang familiar na lang tayo sa mga ito. Usually naman sa exam, dito na naglalaro yung mga given. Para rin pag ang tanong, eh, what is one-third percent? Gagalaw mo na lang yung decimal place dalawang beses. One-fourth percent? Ganun din. One-two. Now, the best way for you to remember this lesson is for you to answer these questions yourself. So, it's time for your quick quiz. If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. All right, let's see how you did. Here we have one eighth percent. Again, you can divide one by eight. Or dahil nga alam natin na kung ang 0.5 ay kalahate, 0.25 ay one fourth. Big sabihin 0.125 ang one eighth. To deal with the percent, we just need to move the decimal place one two two additional points, and the answer is 0.0012. Five. Did you get it right? Great. Now, do na tayo sa question number two. So, question number two, we have three-fourths percent. Now, again, pwede nyo namang gawing four divided by three and then solve that. Or, dahil alam ko na ang one-fourth ay equivalent sa 0 0.25 at ang three-fourths ay basically tatlong one-fourth, I could just multiply this by three, which will give me 0 0.75. At yun na ang 3 fourths. Pero ang inahanap, 3 fourths percent. So, ibig sabihin nun, we'll move the decimal place twice, which will give us 0 0.0075. Yun ang tama sagot. Question number 3, it gets a little bit tricky. May numbers na tayo dito. Pero I know, kayang-kaya nyo ito. We have 2 thirds percent of 1,200. I'll solve it my way. Doon muna tayo sa 2 thirds na part. So, 2 over 3 is equal to x over 1,200. Using ratio notation, na kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, hiling ko na lang din. We will divide 1,200 by 3. This will give us 400 times 2, which means this is 800. 800 ang 2 thirds ng 1,200. Kaya lang, we're looking for yung kanyang percent pa. So, ibig sabihin nun, yung 800, hindi pa yan ang sagot. You need to move the decimal place 1, 2, dalawang beses for the percent, which will give us a final answer of just 8. Hindi 800. 8 na lang. Alright, anong score ninyo? Did you get all three questions correctly? If you did, that's great. If you didn't, that's okay lang din. Ang importante ay your learning. And pwede nyo mong balikan itong video na ito para mag-quiz ulit to see if nag-improve kayo after some time. Now again, we have a whole range of products for you. If you're interested to learn more, meron tayong online review program, meron tayong library events, meron tayong digital pass sa mga hindi makaka-attend ng ating face-to-face -face na review. And of course, we also have the reviewers, if you want something on paper, na pwede namin ipaship kung nasa naman kayo sa Pilipinas. If you're interested sa kahit anong products na ito, and kung gusto nyo rin to support this channel that way, you can message us sa ating Facebook page, m.me slash teamlaika, for more information. Sa lahat na mabibili ng ating products, sa lahat na mabibili ng ating merch, at nag enroll sa ating programs, thank you so much for helping me help more people through this channel. And as we always say sa channel na to, Never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kainian. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now.